best things, they say, come in small packages. And they don't come much smaller than an ARM processor. Here at Simprints, a company set up by Cambridge University PhD students, this piece of technological wizardry famously used to power Apple's smartphones is at the heart of a less flashy, but some would argue altogether more important, device. It's a fingerprint scanner that with a simple swipe can connect someone to their entire medical history, displayed directly onto a mobile phone. We came up with the idea of what if we could use biometrics using a person's fingerprint as that unique ID that connects them to their medical records from birth, wherever they are in the world. It's proved a potent resource in Bangladesh, helping medical workers there monitor the health of pregnant women. Using this device in the field, a community health worker can simply swipe a mother's fingerprint and on her phone pull up the previous medical history of that woman, any specific allergies, conditions or things she had that might be a danger for the pregnancy. A $400,000 grant from ARM and the Gates Foundation is funding the development. There's a huge need out there, well understood by health professionals. We could not back Simprints. The devices are designed, 3D printed, adjusted and printed again as the ergonomics are refined. Chips are tested and a specially designed algorithm gets the data from the fingerprint to a mobile phone. The plan is to sell them to NGOs, governments and researchers for around $40 each. There is of course a huge market out there as well as a great need and so one of the things that ARM is trying to do is demonstrate how relevant our technology is to healthcare for the next two or three billion people who don't have it at the moment. The scanner still needs to be put through its paces with field tests planned in Sudan, Benin and Kenya. But if ARM Holdings and Bill Gates are right, it's just the beginning for these PhD students turned entrepreneurs. Tom McKenzie, Bloomberg.